I'm just getting ready to put my beginnings of my wooden dummy on the pole here. And I just wanted to show you uh, the couple two inch dowels that I purchased at uh, Home Depot. They're gonna extend 11 inches out from the pole after they're put through the holes of the two by fours. The two by four, they both have two inch holes drilled eight inches apart, which is, as I understand it, the traditional link between the arms for the classic wooden dummy. And admittedly, this, there's a lot of problems here. This is nothing near what a traditional wooden dummy would be. As a matter of fact, the arms will come straight out and on a traditional wooden dummy, they come out at an angle. There will not be the leg at the bottom, uh, but for $30, uh, I think it's, I'm hoping this will do in a pinch. And I, uh, we don't have a Wing Chun background. I have an Aikido and a Taekwondo background, but I would like to come out in my garage a couple times a week and maybe learn some of the uh, Wing Chun forms or the wooden dummy forms, I guess they're called. And we'll uh, get this up on the pole and see what we got. This is what it looks like now that I have uh, the two two by fours, uh, the dowels inserted into the two by fours, and the pole is going to go right between that square hole there. The holes on the smaller end are exactly two inches, and the dowel rods just barely fit in there. I had to hammer them in pretty tight. So the dowels on this end right here are two and an eight. I drilled these two and an eight so that they fit in there very easily. And then of course each two by four will be bolted firmly to the, the beam, the support beam in the basement. And we'll have our two upper arms. This here is the finished product. Got the bottom one on now. Uh, I just simply drilled a two inch hole and put the dowel in there and it was sturdy. It was it's not moving whatsoever. There's no glue, there's nothing in there, and it's really not going anywhere. And then the four lag bolts, of course, they go in about they're they're uh, five sixteenths by three and a half. If you want the dimensions on those, they go into the wood, what about two inches? top part and uh, I'm not a like I said I'm not a wooden dummy practitioner at this point hope to be at some point but uh, I banged on this and it is sturdy it's not going anywhere um, the front two are a little crooked a little offset about a half inch but you know really nothing to uh, hinder your practice but again I made up for about thirty dollars in a couple evenings and uh, we're good to go. Uh, if I was a little bit better practitioner, I would show you some moves on it and show you how sturdy it is. Hopefully, maybe another video down the road, I'll do that as my expertise uh, gains a little more momentum. The nice thing about uh, this is you're able to practice solo. Uh, Taekwondo has its forms where you can practice solo. Aikido, unfortunately, you really need a partner. Uh, to practice it, but with this you can do some solo stuff and uh, which you find yourself probably as a martial artist alone a lot as far as being able to practice with some with somebody or something so I think this is going to work out well for some solo training.